Hey guys, it's Tasha, and I'm back with my tortoiseshell pattern tutorial. So first things first, we need to mix a transparent amber shade. So I'm taking number 166, which is a mustard yellow. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of 176, which is kind of um, a rusty orange, and then number 65, which is a really, really deep brown. Just a little bit of those two colors, but mostly number 166. I'm going to mix them in with some tacky top to create that transparent look, and then we're going to put this on the nail in the next step. Next, I'm using my gel brush and I'm applying a thin coat of this Custom Mix Transparent Amber um, Gel Polish Shade to the nail. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure it in my Ugly Ducking Lamp for 45 seconds. The key to this design is to work really thin because we are going to be adding a few layers. So every layer and every step that we do, try and keep it as thin as possible. So now I'm going to go back to my palette and I'm grabbing number 65 which is a really really deep deep brown shade and just a second here I'm going to pick up a little bit of 176 and add that to the brown and tacky top mixture and we're creating a transparent brown shade um, that we're going to use in our next step. Hopping on to step number two, I am using a very, very thin layer of our Clear Schmelt It. And um, in the next frame here, we're going to be taking that transparent orangey brown shade that we just created on our palette, and we're going to be creating um, uh, uneven spots all over the nail. Typically, I do them in uneven numbers, so I believe for this one I did it in three. I may have added a small fourth one somewhere just to fill in a gap. Um, but once you've got that brown paint on there, you're going to want to let it sit for a couple of seconds just so it can kind of react with the clear schmelt it and help those spots kind of blur out and diffuse a little bit. Um, and then once you're happy, you're going to pop it in for a 45 second cure. Step number three, we're adding another very, very thin layer of that transparent amber gel polish shade that we mixed, and we are not curing this layer. We need it wet for the next step. And step number four already, we're going to mix more brown gel polish into the transparent brown that we had already created for the last step, and then we're going to apply more brown spots um, on the uncured um, amber shade that we just laid down. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> but uh, what I'm doing is I'm overlapping slightly over the spots that we just created and also into um, some of the open space as well. I don't want to cover the spots underneath completely. I want them to kind of peek out. This is what's going to help create that dimension that you see in tortoiseshell um, patterns. So once I'm happy with this, I'm going to cure this in my lamp. Step number five, we're going to apply another thin, thin coat of um, the amber gel polish shade just in random spots all over the nail. So some spots are more amber, some spots are more brown, and I'm curing this again for 45 seconds. Again, we're applying more darker brown spots over the ones we just created, slightly overlapping again, trying to leave some of the underlying spots visible still, and then we're going to cure those for 45 seconds. So now I'm going back and I'm using the very, very lightest transparent brown that we mixed and I'm using my gel brush and I'm really kind of just sloppily putting this around and over the uh, brown spots that we've created already. This kind of creates some shadowing or almost like a halo effect around the brown spots that we've got on the nail. Just adding more detail. This design is definitely all about layers so keep repeating until you're happy and then you're going to do a final cure for 45 seconds. And I've chosen to seal my nail here with our no wipe top coat, do a full cure, and your nail is complete.